welcome to another video as you can see i'm starting this video off in the hospital and i've been here for almost a, uh, exactly a week now um i got here last week tuesday and it is tuesday again i am here because i need my port taken out it's been infected unfortunately i've tried everything possible to you know just keep it safe and not get infected but you know things happen and I got infected unfortunately I've had this port since 2017 so a little over just a few months over three years it's time to come out I've had a good run with it um, it has been infected before but I was I was able to catch it in time and I was able to you know clear up the infection and it was good and now it's infected again and it's back with a vengeance and it's just not going away so if you know from my last video that's up go watch it I did have COVID and I did have a sepsis infection at the time they did not know where the um, source of the infection was coming from they hinted that it may be the port but nowadays they're not like in a rush to jump to the port because you could just have an infection and not always be the port but most of the times like when you have sepsis infections it's the port but but we didn't look at it that way you know we just said you know if it comes back it's probably the port and it came back last week um i had really low blood pressure my blood pressure got into the 60s high fevers, um, high heart rate, my white blood count was up, um, I was a hot mess, <laughs> okay, so they admitted me, and I've been here for the whole week, so now they put a midline in, and I've been getting IV antibiotics through my port, they were hoping that that maybe, like, would clear it up a little bit, didn't help, the infectious disease doctor, it was just like, it's, it has to come out. I really didn't want it to come out because for me, me as an individual, me, Brienne, <laughs> is not like any other regular patient. Taking the port out is just not that simple. It's not like go to um, radiology and have it out. I have to be put to sleep because sedation doesn't work well with me. So I actually have to, you know, go in, put the boot tube down with throw and all that extra stuff. Fortunately, that's why I was trying to hold on to my port for so long because it's just not a simple procedure to have it taken out. So, that's the story. And then now, because of COVID, I, I can't have any family members. Oh, is this a pimple? No, no, it's just a little shine. Um, but because of COVID, I can't have anybody. And it's really sad and it's really heartbreaking. I have to go through this by myself and I'm really really scared so I came on here to tell you guys that I cried a lot last night I felt really defeated you know I felt like I did everything poss humanly possible to keep this thing from getting infected and obviously I did a good job for three years but I really 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 wanted to you know keep it for as long as I could but unfortunately God said otherwise so yeah so that's the situation that we're in now when they take it out I'm gonna have to be on IV antibiotics for two weeks so that's gonna be going through here and after I can't get another central line for like a few months so they're gonna put a pick line because this is just the midline and a pick line a midline, I'm sorry, a midline can only last for a month. And after this this comes out, I'm going to have to get a midline. And the midline it is for six weeks. So probably after the midline, I'll be able to get my port or the beginning of the year. We'll see. Probably It's probably looking like, no, not, not the beginning, that's too far away. It's probably looking like December I'll be getting my port or the beginning of the year we'll see after this this is my second port guys this is my second port that's gotten infected and i'm really really discouraged to get another one but the doctors are telling me that i need it desperately because it's my only way of access because my veins are 
terrible. It's hard for them to even get blood draws. So they're like, you really need some sort of access. So not having a port, just to not have a port is really dangerous for my situation. It's just really discouraging because it's like three, are you serious? Like three. Um, and also guys, I'm sorry if the quality is not the best. I am filming on my phone because my camera is at home. So I'm sorry you don't get the good HD quality for my phone, but I just had to get on here and um, tell you what's going on. So I have the PCA going, the PCA going. Up there I have potassium going, and my um, also my rocephin, which is my antibiotics, goes through here. So right now potassium is going through there. And this afternoon I'll get my dose of rocephin. Um, I'll probably hopefully be in recovery by that time so yeah that's the deal y'all that's just what's going on yeah if you guys know of any good like pick line companies like pick covers let me know hit them up put them in the description because i'm gonna need them um any cute stylish ones hit me up put them in the description um oh my gosh guys this is so embarrassing that's drool <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I was knocked out last night. I didn't even see I had drool on my freaking arm. <laughs> what in the world? Wow, that is crazy. Look. I was going on. Okay, I need to wash up because this is crazy. Like, this don't make no sense. Uh, anyway, guys. Um. I know you're probably like, oh, you must feel okay because you're like laughing and stuff. Girl, that's only because I got antibiotics. It's only because I have antibiotics. Trust me, if I did not have antibiotics, I would not be feeling this good. When I first came in, I was like so sick, but <laughs> we're not going to talk about it. not going to talk about it. We're just not going to But yeah, the antibiotics has been making me feel really better. Um, but they're not working because the infection obviously grew. So love that for me. But um, yeah, so I'm going to go into surgery and I'll let you know when everything starts to go down. If you haven't, please go watch my, my other video on this time I had COVID and the sepsis infection and let me know what you think and go share that video. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys. Alright guys, so I am back from surgery. Um, surgery went really well if I do say so. Yeah. Surgery went really well if I do say so myself. I'm sorry if my voice is really raspy. The two messed it up, girl. But um, I am not in much pain as I thought I was going to be in. Um, the surgeon, he did a very good job. Um, he was very like soft and gentle. Um, girl, before I left, I had such a bad panic attack. The, um, the anesthesiologist had to hurry up and put me to sleep because I was crying and I was wailing and it was just a hot mess. Um, just not having my mom there really, really, like, shook me. But I'm better now. I wanted to update you guys. It is out. She's gone. A port's name was Amber and Amber is gone. Um, I had a good one with her. Um, that was like my ride or die. But she's gone. Um, so yeah. And um, yeah, I think that's going to be the last of my ports on my chest. Um, my doctor was telling me about how they do ports in your arms. And they're called like passports or something like that. So I think I'm gonna try that one in my arm because I don't want any more scars like on my on my um my chest. Just because I am a female, you know, you do want to wear nice things or you know not even nice things, but like so you know clothes that are low cut or show you know your your chest or whatever. And I just don't want it to be marked up with scars. Um, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that just for me i already have a big walking scar right here so i don't want to have to add to to it so that was just my only concern and, and you know it's just it's just one of those things that with a female it's just you know another insecurity that i don't want to add to the pile 
it took me a while to even accept this scar and just having that so if I do get another one it would be like right here and I don't want to have to add to that so a passport would be something like that it would be so good for me so yeah um but that won't be for a while like I said until like maybe December beginning of the year after this midline like I said I'm getting a pick put in me we already talked about it so that would be in the beginning of September maybe probably like the first week in September where I would be getting this um pick put in or the last week in August um <coughs> out but yeah um i'm doing really well way better than i thought i would be doing the um infectious disease doctor came and said that i possibly could have went home tonight but i just wanted to make sure i'm beyond the safe side because anything can happen just with pain and stuff so i want to make sure i'm covered so by tomorrow i, I should be held enough held up enough for me to be able to go home and you know be comfortable or whatever so, um, and then, um, my, my IV antibiotics will be delivered to my house either t late tonight or early in the morning, and, um, I'll start it, and I'll be on IV antibiotics. I thought it was going to be for two weeks, but he told me that the IV antibiotics will be for three weeks. He wants to do three weeks just because my infection was so bad. Not even, like, so, it was bad, and it lasted for over a month. Even though when the uh, surgeon went in there, there wasn't, like, any pus or anything growing around the area. But he just wants to make sure because I, I did suffer from sepsis for a long time. So he just wants to, you know, be okay, you know. everything. Mean, he just wants everything to be sure, um, be safe, be safe and sorry. Um, so, yeah, that's that's that guys this was probably a quicker video no more than like 10 minutes i really hope that you i don't know i don't want to say enjoyed it but you know you know these are just educational videos sorry if i'm like out of breath like still on anesthesia but can give me so much medicine guys maybe that's why i'm like not in pain right now and i when i got out the emergency room not the emergency room out the operating room and they woke me upstairs like i was recovering recovering then when I got in my room, I asked my nurse, like, what a food that can I eat? Like, I got DoorDash on the way as we speak, my guy. Like, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten since yesterday at, like, 6 o'clock. And I was NPO at midnight, so I was starving. And she got, <laughs> she gonna bring me some soup. Like, those drinkable soups. And she gonna bring me a popsicle. What am, what am I supposed to do with that, sis? I ate it though. I ate it though. <laughs> I sure did. I was hungry. But yeah, I got DoorDash coming. I'm so hungry. Um, but yeah, so yeah, as you can see, I'm doing better. I'm doing good. Way better than I thought. Like, I thought I was going to be slumped over in pain when I got out. Because that's what happened the last time I got my port taken out. But I don't know if if I just really had got them. I know. Not even, I don't even think I know. I know. I just really had God on my side. Not, that, not saying I didn't have God on my side the other times. But he showed up and showed out this time because I've never woken up and been in this least, least amount of pain. Least amount of pain. I usually be in the, op not even in the recovery room, just crying in pain. So thank God for that. I'm okay. Amber is gone. I wish I really wish I could see like what this scar looks like. But if you didn't know, I already had a keloid over that section. So the surgeon had to go like over the keloid. Like he cut, had to cut into the keloid. So I'm really praying that the keloid don't get any bigger. Because you know, when you introduce trauma to a keloid, it'll get bigger. But I'm about to be putting a whole bunch of oils, creams, butters, cocoa butters, shea butters, all that onto it so that it doesn't grow but that's just another thing about the chest point i don't think i'm gonna do that again so i'm gonna really look into this passport thing chill we'll see we'll see but that's not gonna be for a while like i said pick first i'll probably have to pick it for six to twelve weeks 
you guys will get there and do my whole journey. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with anybody and everybody. And with that, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, warrior babes. I love you.